Man, today I feel like giving out some game, man. What's up? What you got? Let's talk about one stock me and you both individually think will 3X. Okay. Uh, I'll go first. So, a stock that I think will 3X is a, a penny stock. And um, it's Sundial uh, Growers. Uh, it's in the marijuana field. And, you know, with the uh, passing of the bill where it decriminalizes marijuana, um, you know, the House passed that. So now, it's, you know, the Senate still has to pass. But I, I think it's uh, going to 3x because of all the hype that's around it. And like I said, it's around, what, 47 cents. So it's a penny stock. So it's, it's easy to triple. Um, and I, I just think that's, that's a, a new sector that will make a lot of money. A lot of people are going to start having grow houses and, and things of that nature as weed becomes legal and decriminalized, uh, that stock will definitely skyrocket. So I think that's one of the stocks that will 3X. Okay. What about you? What do you think? Um, I'm going with Clean Energy. Okay. Ticker symbol C-L-N-E. And I think um, at the time of this recording, it's about $8.30 a share. And I just think that um, with everything that's going on with... Uh, renewable energy sources, cleaner energy, and then the Biden administration taking over, and even some of the things that are in the current stimulus package that's waiting to be signed by the president. I think just the future overall is good for clean energy, renewable energy, you know, electric and things of that nature. So uh, clean energy is what I have, man. I think um, that's going to 3x. It could even 4 or 5x. I mean, think about like plug, right? Some people got in that plug at $7 a share. This could be the next plug. And I'm going to tell you right now, I got into plug late and I got uh, almost 50% gains. Wow. Wow. That's major. Yeah. Um, I really hope that Apex Technology, uh, ticker symbol APXT, triples. Because if it does, man, you know, <laughs> that would be my home run play. Uh, it's currently up a couple dollars right now. I'm in at 14 and um, they're just waiting on the merger to happen. And that's with AdPoint, which is a, um, a big consultant with uh, Microsoft. They do the cloud uh, component for them. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's a 3X right there, but you just never know. You know, another stock that uh, people, you know, talk about that's notorious for, I think that even did 10X, right? Um, Tesla. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that growth potential is there. But I think that company is going to continue to grow. Um, I think it came out last week that he tried to sell Tesla to Apple for a tenth of what it's worth right now. And uh, Tim Cook wouldn't have the meeting with him. Mm. Why not? Uh, I mean, no. like... <laughs> I, I get it, right. Why not? Why not Why have a meeting with him? Why wouldn't you take a meeting with Elon Musk? Yeah, he didn't it's want to. Deal. Maybe he thought Elon was too controversial. You know, um, Apple's a really safe company, but... Right. They could have got, you know, 10x on that investment. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity, man. Because they're making cars now with Project Titan. Okay. You know, so Apple is trying to develop their own car. And I just think if they had app, um, sorry, Tesla's technology, that'll mm -hmm. put them to the front of the line. Because I don't think any EV company has the tech that they have. Like, for example, um, viewers notice I love the Porsche Taycan. And even them, they don't have the technology. I mean, it's it's far less energy efficient than a Tesla. Far less energy efficient. You still want it, though. And you're still going to get that one day, right? You're going to get that. Uh, again, eventually, maybe. So what does that mean for Apple if they start getting into the EV space? Well, here's the thing. Um, Apple, in their own right, are known disruptors, right? Like, yep. you know, they got into the cell phone business. Um, they got into music when they acquired Beats. The main reason they acquired Beats is to have access to the the contract and that uh, Beats have with their streaming platform. Right. That was a big selling point of Beats for them. So they are industry disruptors, but it's going to be tough, I would say, with um, EVs because a lot of it is like, how do you produce an affordable car that looks good that uh, the everyday American will buy? You know, you can't disrupt the car industry selling... 50,000 cars a year. Right. I don't know. I feel like Apple's starting to be less innovative nowadays. Um, it seems like they take other people's ideas and then they make it better because they have the platform. Yeah. So if you think about um, like what Facebook does, like if they see 
Snapchat or TikTok, they're going to want to incorporate that in their design. And I feel like that's what's going on with Apple. It's like, you already know Tesla's doing their thing. You know Neo's doing their thing and all those companies in China. And so they want a piece of that pie, just like what they did with Apple TV. You know? Yeah. That's a... Yeah, but that, that's, that app's, that streaming app's not that good. Oh, I love the shows on there. On uh, Apple? TV? Really? Yeah. yeah. What yeah, shows? Yeah. They have uh, The Morning Show, which is pretty good. Okay. They also had a, uh, a movie that came out. It was about a real estate investor. Uh, I forget the name of the movie. But uh, Anthony Mackie's in it. Okay. Yeah, so it was a pretty good movie. But yeah, they have a lot of decent shows where they're doing like Apple TV originals. And uh, it's dope. Okay. Uh, I mean, I have the service. Um, yeah. I didn't find anything I liked. I tried to watch their own little version of Game of Thrones that had Jason Momoa, and I thought it was horrible. <laughs> so I stopped. I kind of was done with the app after that. Yeah. Um, but Oprah's yeah. on there too. Who? Oprah. She like interviews some people, and like mm. Barack Obama was on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, they, take the design, they take the design of other people, and they just incorporate it in their their uh, platform, their network. Yeah, so, and of course, Apple is always looking for new things to get into because, you know, you can only, you know, get all your money from selling cell phones for so long. So, right. in their own way, they want to diversify and they have a lot of cash on hand so they can do a lot of things. But, I mean, just imagine, you know, if, you know, they had Tesla because Tesla's battery tech is ahead of its time. Their self driving tech is ahead of its time. And those two things are just going to be very hard to catch up to. No, I agree. I agree. So, um, how was your performance over the week? Was it decent? How do you feel? It was whatever, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it was a very it was a wash. I think I came out the way I came in. Okay, that's cool. Um, I have a few new plays: uh, FedEx, um, and Lululemon. So yeah, I, I bought twenty five shares in Pfizer. Uh, it was at forty two, and I got in at thirty seven, twenty seven, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they just. Uh, did the emergency FDA approval in Europe. Yeah. And uh, so I'm thinking hopefully next week that'll go back to the 42 range. I'll swing it, probably sell it. Um, and then just hopefully it grows. I mean, it might, it might be a play for me, but I think another 3X would be any um, airline stock. 3X? I think so. I think so. Going into 2021. It's just, it's a, a long-term 3X play. Okay. Especially with um, American Airlines, I can definitely see that doing a uh, 3x because I got in at 14. Yeah, I think once we get data on um, whether or not the vaccine will still make you resistant to these mutated genes, mm -hmm. then I think that's what we're going to see a big pickup in the airline industry. Yeah, I think they're also they might require like a, a vaccine passport where it shows if you. Um, have been vaccinated or not or if you have COVID-19 or have been tested and then you can fly on the plane so that's going to get more people to try to get that vaccine when it's readily available so yeah. that'd be dope yeah I'm actually getting my uh, vaccine later on today hey man that's yeah. awesome good luck yeah, man, tell I'll me all fine, about man. it I, I keep telling everybody I'll be fine man. oh yeah you're you're definitely good um, I also know someone else that got it and they seem to be doing well so yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. There's maybe a little bit of a sore arm. I don't really care to have that, but whatever. Right. I live with that. Oh, yeah, man. You know. Awesome. Tell me all about it. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> let me see. Uh, another 3X stock. Um, you know, I don't really know much more other than that, but I just know that, like, a booming industry that, um, you know, it's funny. Since I work in healthcare, I hear about things, but I don't ever reference them back to the stock market. Mm -hmm. But I'm always watching a video from the ARK Investor, and they were talking about how... Uh, they think genomics are going to be the next wave, the next booming industry. You know, um, how people are going to be using, uh, there's this company called CRISPR that, you know, does this uh, gene modifications to treat like, you know, illness, illnesses. There's a clinical trial going on right now mm. to cure pediatric blindness using this technology. So, oh, wow. yeah, so they, so they think that's going to be the future, the next four or five years. Um, genomics is going to have the big boom that like tech had you okay. know, as of the last five years. There was another stock that you put me on that I should have got in like right when you told me it was uh, TGTX and that boomed I think it was at 42 and now it's at 53. Yeah. I should have hopped in. Yeah. GoodRx is also doing well right now. Yes. GoodRx <laughs> is doing extremely well right now. Should have held. Yeah. yeah man. Should've you held. know 
the key is this, man. Whenever we give a recommendation, man, um, on this channel, of course, for entertainment purposes only. Right. I'm not a financial advisor. And I'm no expert. But <laughs> if you invest in the stock, you got to give it time to cook. You got to give it time to bake. I don't think... I, I, I will say this. I will never, ever, ever recommend a buy that's going to boom for you within two days or a week. It's just not going to happen. Right. But... Give it two months, three months, follow the chart, do your own research, follow the news on it. Maybe you can get that 20% gain that you're looking for. Yeah, and if you're not familiar, you can, you know, research some ETFs. They're low on the expense ratio. And, um, you know, just start with that um, and, and do your thing. That's a good way to invest in the stock market as well. Yep, yep, it definitely is. All right, man, Noah. Those are the stocks that we think are going to do it. Yeah.